Are you a SNIT contributor? How often do you check your statement? Do you always work to the SNIT office to check your statement? There's good news for you. Save yourself the hassle of going to the SNIT office. You can always check your statement anytime, anywhere. Yes, you heard me. Anytime, anywhere. Now let's get to it. Head over to www.snit.org.gh link in the description below. On the top panel of the website, you will see my statement. Click on my statement. A window would be opened leading you to the membership page. Now on the membership page click on Get Access. A sign-up page would be open for you requesting you to enter your social security number. Your email address. Take note that this email address is the address you used in registering with social security. Make sure you use the same address if you use a different email address, it wouldn't work, so make sure the address you enter there is the same email address you use to register your social security. Answer the security question below. The security question can vary from person to person. But the questions are basic information you used in registering your social security. Make sure the answer you enter also corresponds to what social security has on their system. Haven't done that. Click on sign up. A success message indicating that password has been sent to your mail will pop up. Click on OK. Go to your email and check for mail from SSNIT. The mail should be among the top mails. If you didn't find it, click on all mail from the left panel. Now you should see the mail from SSNIT. Open the mail. Copy the statement code, go back to the SSNIT portal. You can also click on go to statement portal from email. On the portal, enter your social security number. Paste the code you copied from your mail onto the password section and click on sign in. A new window would be open for you requesting you to change your password, remember the current password is the statement code sent to you via email. The one we just copied. Paste the same code in the current password section. Under the new password section, enter a password you will remember. You are creating your own password you will use to check your statement all the time so enter something you will always remember. Your password should contain at least 8 characters and contain at least one digit, one uppercase letter and one lowercase letter. If you succeed in doing so click on Submit, a success confirmation message will pop up. Click on OK. It will take you back to the login page. Now enter your social security number once again and enter the new password you have created in the password column. Click on Sign In. Congratulations on coming this far. Now your statement would be displayed to you with all the necessary information you need to know about your social security. You can always visit this portal anytime anywhere either a with mobile phone or a computer to check your statement with your social security number and your password. You can also print out your statement or save it as a PDF file for future ref- Cool right? If this video helped you in any way, please like, share and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.